Hello, dear friends. You're watching a scientific, entertaining, scientific, humoristic channel. Too healthy helps a lot. Our remedy here is jokes, humor, and good aura that we have here. Not even aura, but the presence of God. We serve people well, and for that we get cured. That's it. And we don't give any medicine to anyone. And we don't treat anyone here, right? Look. Now I'm going to answer some letters. Hello, dear Mr. Ostrovsky. Everyone in our family suffers from seasonal allergy. I'm a nursing mother. What should we do? It's very simple. Don't eat animals and you won't get any allergy. Allergy is caused by consuming animals. Exclude all products of animal origin and do one enema a day to cleanse your bowel, at least for a month, and everything will go away. Well, do that for at least a week. Buckwheat, salads, buckwheat, salads, salads, buckwheat. You will get well soon. Stop overeating. All right, next. How do I get rid of hemorrhoids from our acquaintances in Groznia? Let me pull it out. So, how to get rid of hemorrhoids? Use leeches and you'll get rid of hemorrhoids. That's it. Hold on. It's not from Groznia. It's a woman writing. Put some leeches there and do chamomile enemas and lie in bed with these enemas and cleanse your liver well, okay? Because everything depends on the liver. The whole vascular system depends on the liver. Sarvangasana, Sarvangasana, look it up on the internet. Sarvangasana, an inversion pose, a candlestick to get everything up. Your organs have fallen, enteroptosia. Now, next, here's rectal prolapse, marat. Marat, the prolapse occurs because there are tons of worms in the small bowel and it protrudes out the anus. You go to the doctor and say, doctor, I have a rectal prolapse. He'll say, you've got to cut it off. But what for? You just have to. No one in the world can cure it. It's an incurable disease. $300. Can I get by without surgery? No, you can't. Google it. What do you want from me? Next, actually he's lying. It can be cured all right. There are worms in there. Take 50 grams of castor oil and 50 grams of cognac. Drink it and all this nasty stuff will come out, all the worms, and that's it. Well, you may make sure you don't have pancreatitis or gallstones. If you do, drink it once a week or twice a week. It all depends. I can't tell you everything right now. If you don't have cognac, you can mix 100 grams of lemon juice with 50 grams of castor oil. All these worms will come out. The slime, the feces. There's a lot of feces stuck in there. Hence the bowel sags. It bulges. When you go to a doctor, he says, you gotta cut it off. Instead of cleansing, he simply says, cut it off. You have my point. Next, Lena writes, Mr. Ostrovsky, your work is not worthless. It took me four months to recover, and the results are great. Now I see that my work is worthless. Well, next question. A question from Georgia. Pranic Quincy, take a glass of water, drink it, and that's all. Gargle five to six times a day, it goes away. That's it. Don't eat dairy. You have too much dairy in your food, too much starch. Potatoes, 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 potatoes. Sugar, potatoes, sugar. Slime. It gets clogged with slime. Slime got stuck in there. That's it. No slime, no problem. Now your knees ache. Well, dab them with some alcohol. First alcohol, then Vaseline. So that Vaseline soaks into your knees, it will lubricate them as well. And everything will go away. Then you've got bunions on your hands. Everyone has. Let it be. That's because of meat you eat. Because of the kebab. Kebab. Meat. Kebab. Meat. Meat. Kebab. Meat. Kebab. Lamb. Slaughtered a lamb. Well, cow. Milk, milk, milk. Cow, milk, cheese, 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 cheese. Do you have any vegetables in your house? Maybe buckwheat. Change the way you eat and you won't have any problems. I think that's enough. Here, the last question. Marika Shornaya, can I use castor oil if I don't have a gallbladder? If you don't have a gallbladder, you're the happiest person in the world. It means you have no pains. Then why can't you? Unless you have pancreatitis, and I know you do. You don't have a gallbladder, it means you have pancreatitis in a latent form because you get stuffed with animals and dairy. Am I right? Well, see you next time.